Five Minute Fridays. All right, question number, that's more than five minutes. Five Minute Fridays. All right, today's question, how to individual, <laughs> today's question is how to individualize programs. So someone asks, how do you individualize programs when you have so many classifications, students coming in, transfers, different things like that? What I used, I use a four uh, system learning uh, apparatus, for lack of a better word, and it was educate, engage, equip, and provide experience. So the first stage of this, no matter where someone, this could be a freshman or this could be a transferred in, we always wanted to educate them. Educate them on whatever you have in your player development program. Educate, and that could be, hey, do you know what a resume is? Do you know what budgeting is? Do you know what this is? I think so many people sometimes get into programming and do big time programming and forget you have to educate people on what you're talking about. So educating was always the first step. The second step was to then engage people. So if you once you got the education, then we're gonna engage you. So okay, you now know what a resume is. So then now let's engage a maybe a career fair or maybe you know uh, someone going over your resume, whatever it is. But we want to go from the education phase into the engagement phase because now. Hey, you know it. Now we're going to get you engaged and you can learn it, right? It's almost like playing football, right? I, I see the play, but once I walk through, I'm able to engage the play. And so that engagement process is huge because now you're taking that aspect of what was learned and now you're engaging that person. Now from the engage piece, then we would move to the equipping piece. Now let's equip this person. Let's equip them with different skills because we've educated them. We've engaged them. They've understood it. They've seen it. Straight up, now let's equip them. Let's equip them with different things. That could be, hey, this is what you were at the engaged stage. We're gonna equip you with these things that will make you better in your walk. And then the last phase of that will be the experience phase. Okay, now you went through education, you've been engaged, you got equipped. Now we're gonna provide experience some kind of way. So if we did this in a career fair, educate, learn about what a career fair is, engage, go to a table, find out what they do, equip. Hey, we're going to have a mock interview experience. We're going to get you an in-person uh, in-person interview, right? And so you're walking people through that. So if you have a big group of people, and I know like I understand, I love this question because you can't just go and just, hey, we're going to talk about investing with our entire team. I could tell you this right now. That entire team is not ready for an investment talk. All right. You can say, all right, well, let's talk budgeting and in one year and then let's engage our group from budgeting into expense versus income conversations right and then we could talk about okay let's equip them to understand what investing could look like and then experience could be like hey let's do a little you know shadow or whatever about uh, investing and so that's how I did it to help individualize we wanted to see where they were at because here's the thing I'd started to do about classification but I realized this level of learning wasn't necessarily a classification only type deal what I mean by that is we could have a freshman who is super mature and would have already been educated, engaged, and equipped on this level. So we just need to provide that freshman some experience. Or we can have a senior who needs to go all the way back to the education stage, right? And so instead of saying, hey, you know, all seniors who don't know this, come to this meeting, we were able to do it in a way that kept it a little stealthy, for lack of a better word, and how we developed and helped our players all get to a place where they truly understood what we were trying to help them with, the programming, the initiative, whatever it may be. And so, once again, I, even, I got straight to it. Five Minute Fridays, I wanna answer your questions. If you have questions, player development questions, please hit the link in the show notes to ask your question. Also, if you like these questions, if you're liking Five Minute Fridays, if you like to hear me answer these questions, you would love 100 Tips of Player Development, which is in the show notes as well. And if you don't know what player development means, player development is defined as the enhancement of the athlete experience through holistic and intentional programming and initiatives. And so that is what we're doing here. Five Minute Fridays. Once again, to recap, we answer the question on what to do to how to individualize programming for those who have a big team or a plethora of students that need to get developed. Educate them, engage them, equip them and then provide experience and find out where they fall in those landing areas and go from there. If you wanna to come to a player development workshop and learn more how to get, create a blueprint for you, click the player development workshop link in the show notes and I would see you there. Yes, five minute Fridays. Man, this is good. I actually beat the clock, 14, 15 seconds. So I'm gonna give you your time back right now.
Thank you so much for being here. Go out and create generational impact. Don't wait. Create that generational impact today. Oh, I didn't beat the clock. <laughs>